namespaces. Those are exactly how they sound. There's space for names. Go figure. Let me try to explain. Say you and I are working on a project, and I make a class and I call it dog, and say my dog in here can woof and do other things that I need a dog to do, and say you needed to make a class called dog as well, and it doesn't make sense to call your class anything else. It literally is a dog, but your dog class has completely different code in here and different logic and semantics than what my code is. So, yes, my dog is very different. My dog type is very different from your dog type, so it makes sense that I should have a dog type and you should have a dog type. Yes, this is a contrived example, and yes, these situations are rare. But they're common enough that we're going to have an issue here. I mean, we could certainly have, say we're using two libraries, and we, one library has a point class, and another library has a point class, and even then, both point classes could probably roughly do the same thing, but still, it's, one library requires its point class, and another library requires its point class, and we're trying to make a game, trying to interact with this Maybe it's a physics library and an AI library, and, and you can kind of see where I'm going with this. But let's go back to dogs. All right, well, if I came down here and I say I wanted to create an instance of my dog, all right, the Jamie King dog, not your dog, my dog. Well, if I build this, the compiler's going to say, hey, um, the namespace, global namespace, meaning this is a namespace. There's just not really a name to it. It's global. But anyway, the namespace, global namespace, already contains the definition for dog. Okay, you cannot make another dog class there. So how do we overcome this headache? Well, one way you could do it is say, hey, this is the Jamie dog, and <clears throat> I don't know your name, so we'll call it it's your dog. And if Jamie wants to create his dog, he can say, hey, Jamie dog, Jamie dog, and control shift B. The compiler's happy says, oh, okay, yeah, this is a Jamie dog. That's fine. It's not a your dog. I, I know what to do now. All right, but 99% of the time, you and me are working in completely different parts of the project, and for that 1% of the time that we actually clashed in one file or in one project or whatever, uh, we had to do this explicit Jamie dog, your dog, but the other 99% of the time I'm typing Jamie dog and it's a headache. The only reason why I put J-A-M-I-E on the front of this is so that I could differentiate between your dog versus my dog. Well, namespaces to the rescue. Let me show you what namespaces are. Namespace, Jamie. Okay, look at this. It's a space. Okay, the idea is between the curlies, it's a space. It's a namespace. I don't, I don't know how else to explain that. And now instead of uh, saying Jamie dog, I'm going to say Jamie dot dog. Jamie dot dog. Right, I can build this and build succeeded. That's cool. Right, instead of saying you're out here, I don't need to ruin your class name anymore. We can just say, hey, namespace, this is your code. And we'll just go like that. And if I want to create a your dog, I'll say your dot dog right here. And your dog, it's new your dog, like so. And and this is this is cool. This is getting a little bit better. And and you can kind of see even the highlighting here. I have green versus the namespace name. The type name is this light green, and and the namespace. So that's pretty cool. But now it's but <laughs> it's almost worse though. Now I have to put dots here. Okay, before I was just saying Jamie dog, and now I have to insert dots. Well, C sharp again to the rescue. I can come up here and say, using Jamie. And that basically says, hey, compiler, anytime you see a type name, for example, dog. All right, it says dog here. And you need to go look through all of the types found in the Jamie namespace and in the system namespace. Go look at both of them and see if you can find a dog class in there. Right? Just because I wrote this namespace in the actual file doesn't mean that this is visible automatically. Right? In fact, if I actually take this off, control KC, and build, we'll get an error saying, hey, I don't know what a dog is. But if I come up here and bring the using back in and build it, it says, oh, okay, I'm good. This dog is, is this dog, and the reason why I found the Jamie dog is you said to look inside the Jamie namespace. But if I'm stupid and come back up here and say, hey, <coughs> using the your namespace as well, I try to build this, it's going to say, hey, um, D dog is ambiguous. Yeah, it's, it could be Jamie dog or your dog. Which dog do you want? And at that point, I'm forced to be explicit again and put the name out there like so. Notice the compiler didn't even... You can see the compile time versus runtime there. The compiler didn't even look at the right-hand side to get a hint. It just says, hey, you got dog here, and I don't know what you mean by that. Maybe you did mean your dog there, and, and if you did mean your dog, then I cannot convert a Jamie dog to your dog. So, anyway, I'm getting off track. Uh, I... I can be explicit. Okay, I can say Jamie dot dog, or 
more appropriately, we can just say the using, and that will expose everything inside the namespace for the compiler to search through when it tries to build this file. All right? That's pretty much the gist of namespaces. It's just here's a space that has a name in it. All right? Namespaces actually have no meaning on the .NET level. As far as .NET's concerned, and as far as actually what the C-sharp compiler's concerned, the actual name of this dog class here is Jamie with a dot in there. There's nothing special about the dot. It's just another character like E-I-M-A-J. All right, we just have a dot in there. So namespaces are actually a C-sharp concept. They are not a .NET concept. Look at me saying dot all over the place. But anyway, <coughs> nice help from the C-sharp compiler. That's the gist on namespaces. I'm going to show you some nuances in the next video or two.